Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. It's been a pretty long time since I've played this game and since we last exited with our dramatic conclusion of me saying nope! <laughs> I actually, I just turned the game off. Like, I didn't even, like, I haven't even done that part yet. Like, I did not. There's no place to, like, stop and save there, obviously, because you're, t <laughs> but if you know what I'm talking about, which most of you probably do, but if you don't, yeah. Um... It's just there's no place to save or try to reload at that, so I just turned the game off. I turned the whole console off, basically. Uh, it was it was dramatic. It was very nice. It was very funny. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a long time uh, for me, especially. Uh, I'm doing some more recording before I head back out into the wilderness for work again. Um, and I've been very, very busy this week with uh, taking care of a house and also play Pokemon Go nonstop. <sighs> it's been great. Let's check our mail really quick. I have an idea of what we're going to do. No messages for you, ah, Commander. Okay, fine. Okay, so I was looking, and uh, we have... We have Project Firewalker and Overlord. And I think we're going to do Project Firewalker, but I have it on pretty good authority <laughs> that it gets very tedious, so I'm not promising I'm going to finish it. I enjoyed what I played of it, but I've heard it gets really ridiculous. <laughs> not a very well thought out DLC, apparently, but, um, and then we have, we have, I mean, we, I might finish up what we have. Uh, I was kind of wanting to, like, explore all the planets and all the systems and, you know, find the planet side missions and stuff. And I still kind of want to do that, but I also want to progress the story. But progressing the story, we're basically close. To, we're basic, basically at the end right now. Excuse me, I'm drinking my soda pop. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. I kind of want to go talk to everybody too, but I know we've done that, so we should be good. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we should be good on that. I might double check later. How do I get out of here? Not this system, apparently. Oh, okay. Probably not Faya either, but dang, oh well, we'll just figure it out. Oh, right, we're in the. Ah, uh, key. Ah. Oh man, I just like basically pulled weeds, but it was basically a forest. Like, if I was kneeling down, the weeds would have been taller than me. I'm like, freaking really tired. This is like, I hurt my arm, I think. I'm like such a weenie baby. I'm like, ow. It's all good. It needed to be done. Obviously, if they were like as tall as a person kneeling down. Uh, Firewalker. Artifact collection. Are we close? This is, that's the closest Firewalker. I, and a get incursion and a recover research data. Okie dokie. Monkeys. Let's do this. Um, it's like a choir, Reaper IFF. I'm like, I did that. That's the thing is, I don't want to start, I don't want to do that because it'll take me like an hour and a half, quarter hour 45 to get it done, and I don't have much time to record before pandemonium hits me. Like, it's just gonna be very busy this evening. Gotta go. Schwarzschild! I remember Schwarzschild. Oh, wait, whoa, is this really? The Reaper IFF is in here? I didn't quite realize. I'm not getting it closer. Krang! Uh, Lusa. Anomaly detected. 
Initial surveys of Kerrang noted its high density and active plate tectonics, suggesting a high internal heat fuel by a greater than normal concentration of heavy elements and radioactives. Early test cores proved that mineral riches of the world, but the distance from the mass relay in the century system made it unprofitable to develop until late 2183. The atmosphere is a smog of methane, ammonia, and water vapor, a so-called primordial soup. Prim primordial soup, uh, similar to the conditions of early Earth. However, there's no evidence of life developing on occurring surface beyond the level of simple dextro amino acids. Dextro amino acids. The minimal energy output of the red dwarf bear have created an energy starved surface environment. Men minimal energy input of the red dwarf bear has created an energy starved surface environment, but the planet's volcanism does hold open some possibility for subterranean development. Oh, look at that. We landed right on it. Probe away. I have found something. Scans have found locations matching the descriptions of Dr. K's survey sites. Exploring the sites could reveal valuable mission data. Warning, death presence detected on planet's surface. Use extreme caution. Oh, someday I gotta play with that, with, with the, the, the geth we saw. <laughs> someday I gotta play this mission with Legion. I'm gonna play, play a bunch with Legion. But that would entail something that you guys will see. It's just something that I don't really like to deal with. It makes me upset. It's the silence. I don't know. I'll say that much. It's the silence. I don't like it. Desperately thirsty. Ben! Ah! I missed you! <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do this. I have the arc projector. We're gonna be fighting Geth. I guess that's alright. Eviscerator, the locust. Let's do this. Right, this is in my, my bay. Oh, new places though, that's exciting! Hello! Oh, do I have weapons on this? Scanning for mission objectives. Uh, oh, I do! Mission objectives located. How do you friggin' shoot and. Oh, and fly! Oh no! Okay, can I like cool down or something? Shh, calm yourself, okay. So we can just skate along. Meow. This is fun. I'm assuming the artifacts are gonna be over there. Oh, I have a boost. Drop ship detected. Wow. Wow. <laughs> A game of bouncy. Shoot the friggin'. It's gonna take ages. I guess I can't shoot multiples. Nice. 
press Y. Required. Okay. Man, this is kind of complicated. I'm trying to fly and shoot. Place. What is what's what, what's here? Uh, apparently searching for research data. The data cannot be decrypted without a series of codes which lie scattered throughout the area. Okay. Oh come on! They're gonna like they're gonna they're gonna man. Oh and you can't. Okay, that's what it is. Their checkpoints are retarded. That's what Frograder was saying that. That it, the checkpoints are just really weird places and they're not frequent enough and it won't let you save so that that's cool nice to know Warning. Get forced yeah of course they did detected when I'm down here and not not in my happy safe place Dodging. We go over here. Pull and take Whoa. The compromise. Whoa. Take the vehicle away from the acid. It's not acid, it's lava, you idiot. Oh, is it not hitting it? Is it not close enough or something? as often as you want, as, as I can, huh? 
memories though. Good old Mass Effect 1. What? Oh, and we can accelerate while flying. Do I go... Oh, do I go up or do I go... I mean, I could go over there. Oh, I see a, I see a thing over there. I think that's just back the way we... Oh no! Okay, the way we came. I pressed the buttons at the wrong time. Okay. Nope, wait, wait, wait. Accelerate over here. No, like this. Keep going. Keep going. It's like, here, look, you want to ramp off? Meow. <laughs> Go around, or I can just go the direct route. Dropship detected. Thank you. Thank you. I get prime, and I get classes. Is this safety? Safety. Oh, come on. 
on. Kind of nice that they experimented with something faster than the Mako, though. That is the artifact <laughs> with the glowing beacon on it. Supporting a beacon for science! Okay, if you just hold it down, it lands pretty well. Oh, of course, I'm not gonna let me. Warning. Ah! <laughs> Make me redo it again, the whole thing. I'm I'm worried now. I'm worried. Where's it gonna put me? Please be kind. If it makes me redo the whole thing again, I don't know if I'll do it. <laughs> oh no! You're joking! You're joking! Are you joking? No! No! <laughs> what the heck? It makes you do it all in one? All in one! That was like 20 minutes I just spent in there! Oh, okay! Uh, Scanning for mission objectives. You know. I might just go do Overlord instead. <laughs> That's kind of bad. Maybe, I don't know. It's like, this is the Firewalker and the Overlord DLC. Freaking don't do Firewalker. <laughs> that is dumb, and it doesn't even let you save yourself. Like, okay. Like, there were no checkpoints there. Like, you're like, the, 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 the checkpoint system is retarded, and I'm like, Okay, there were no checkpoints. That's how retarded it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Like, legit. <sighs> yeah. uh, well, where's Project Overlord at? Is it Overlord or Overload? I think it's Overlord. Uh, oh, by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned it. Uh, well, I guess they do tell you in Mass Effect 3, so maybe I won't say that anyway. Just kidding. Where is it? Let's, uh, let's actually read it really quick. Maybe. I don't know if I want to get the... It's gone off the grid. 
Planet Aite. Typhoon system. Phoenix massing. Uh, okay. Those are unfamiliar to me. Probably new ones that we just got. Where am I? Oh. Ah, uh, sorry about that. My dog is hearing things, so that's cool. But, I don't know, Frog Raider, I think you probably tried harder than I did on that freaking... The first time I... When I was like, uh, no. No, thank you. I'm not going to do that again. I think you at least did some of them. I think you said you may have finished it once as well. But maybe not. <laughs> that it's just not worth it. It's not. It's not worth it. Ah, where is... Oh my lord. Where is it? Is it not marked? Firewalker, firewalker. Oh no, there it is. It's hidden. Investigate Project Overlord. the ghosts. The phoenix mass, not just phoenix massing, the phoenix Only massing. Yay. Aite. Let's see. Wow, that's a big planet, very close to the sun. Typical question. Oh, one of Aite's many wars. Of Aite are not pleased with the situation. Huh. Okay, so what's going on in Aite? Oh my gosh. It says travel. I was reading the travel advisory really quick. What's the point of that? To like bother each other so much. Yeah, it's like a Pegasid, but it's not. Pretty planet, it looks like Earth, except a little bit less water, maybe, and Saturn rings. <laughs> Ite is like an Earth, is an Earth-like world with a variety of hab hab habitable land, ranging from deserts to jungles to tundra. It also possesses faint rings, an unusual feature for a non-gas giant planet, or non-giant planet. The rings contain rocks up to a meter in length and a wide dust cloud that stretches nearly 23,000 kilometers from the center of the planet. Well, shoot, that'd be kind of difficult to. I mean, maybe not. They might impede space travel. It's impressive celestial phenomena. It would be really fantastic to see from the ground, wouldn't it? But the impressive celestial phenomena, however, is dwarfed by the fact that Aite is on just moon. Vite is an unstable orbit and predicted to impact the planet within the next two centuries. Knowing that any Aish adventure is living on borrowed time, colonial population and investment has been orders of magnitude less than other garden worlds. Why is the capital dispute? Why is everything. Why isn't it telling me more? I would like to know more, please. Thank you. Before I freaking land on this. What are we doing here? What, what are we... It's, okay, it's gone off the grid. But yeah, service station on the planet Aite has gone off the grid. Investigate why the Cerberus base has gone silent. Is there anything in the codex? Shadow Games, The Broker's Secrets. Oh. Yeah, I, I read this, because the first time, unless you, I didn't play the Shadow Broker DLC the first time I played through, or the first and second time I played through Mass Effect 2. So, um, hmm. Yeah, you read about them for the first time there. And then we have my little 
new thing, I'm sure. Holy crap. Oh, Korean live ships. Oh, specialty vehicle. A veteran. Oh! Interesting. Shoot. Zoria. Antihistamines. Yeah. I guess I might have I might have already popped in there and I wouldn't have wait. Human. I uh Pragya Kuchanka. Nope, alright then. Okay. Oh nope, I did not actually mean to select that. Pacha Let's land! It's gone off the grid, but you didn't mention that there's like three warring factions or something? I don't know. I'm on like a pop binge today. Usually I only have like one can a day, maybe. But I might have to crack open two today. I wish, I, I hope that Mass Effect Andromeda takes a little bit, some cues from Dragon Age, honestly. Just for like companions talking out in the field and stuff, I like that. Mass Effect 1 had that a little bit, but not much. Um, but I think, I'm actually, it's kind of a weird spot, but I'm going to call it here. Um, so that way we can start Overlord with a fresh start. <laughs> So, uh, thank you guys again for joining me. I will see you in the next one.